We want to get back to the interview that we were having some technical difficulties with, specifically talking about misinformation and sorting it out during this COVID-19 pandemic. When I introduce you again to Dr. Brian Fangler, the CEO of Evidence Care in Brentwood, joining us on the phone to discuss the information available. Dr. Fangler, I think we've got you now, but we were I was asking you before, with all the misinformation that is out there, how do viewers sort and get between the real and the fake information? Yeah, you know, I think it's really important. Um, you know, just like this virus, every little piece of information has a chance to spread quickly. Um, and I think in this time, uh, it, it's very prudent for folks to exercise caution on the sources that they get information from. And, and really, the sources that I trust in this time are, are those that uh, express humility um, and say they don't know because this is something that the medical profession has never seen. Mm -hmm. um, and so when it comes to your health, I, you know, really you have to listen to the medical experts and you got to listen to folks like the CDC and others that are working tirelessly day and night to curate this information as quickly as possible. It's so true, too, because you see people that are posting things on social media left and right, and it hasn't been verified, so definitely some good information there. What about ER doctors? What do you do to sort through all the clinical information that's available on the treatment and uh, diagnosis of COVID-19? Yeah, you know, it's, it's been tough. Again, we've never seen anything like this before, so the medical, medical communities work in day and night. Um, you know, there's some great resources out there. The American College of Emergency Physicians uh, has done a phenomenal job. Uh, they've curated evidence from all around the globe uh, and put it into a, a field guide that they developed for emergency physicians. And uh, my company, Evidence Care, has, has now taken that uh, content and, and built pathways that clinicians at the bedside uh, can use when they're treating patients that, that puts all of that latest evidence right into their fingertips. Dr. Brian Fengler is the CEO of Evidence uh, Care in Brentwood joining us on the phone this morning. Since the beginning of COVID-19, we know that ER visits, they have dropped significantly, not just here in Nashville in the mid-state, but really across the nation. Talking about for things like a stroke, heart attack, et cetera. What's the explanation here? Is it fear? Yes. Yes, people are scared. Uh, in fact, ASAP did a study that, that showed that nationally 80% of people are concerned about going to the ER uh, for fear of contracting COVID. Um, but, but the message to get out to folks is that, you know, emergency physicians and, and nurses are, are trained in, in source control, in um, you know, appropriate uh, protection to make sure that they're not infecting other people um, with, this, uh, with this disease. And, and some of the numbers are kind of scary. Um, nationally, it's been uh, seen that uh, there's been a decline of 46% of patients presenting to the ED with strokes. Mm -hmm. um, the number for heart attacks is down 36%. And so that's scary because those are people that are, are having these conditions and they're staying at home because they're scared to go get the medical attention that they need. Um, and, and so, you know, there's going to be a lot of evidence that comes out after this and it's going to be, you know, concerned to those folks that stayed home and, you know, and, and that outcomes that they have coming out of this. Dr. Brian Fangler, the CEO of Evidence Care in Brentwood, thank you so much for uh, taking some time this morning to discuss uh, what ER doctors are doing, the research that you're looking to, and then also reassuring the public that if you do have some of these problems, if it could be signs of a stroke, a heart attack, make sure you get to the hospital because our emergency room providers, they will make sure that you do stay safe. We appreciate the time.